All right, guys, welcome to Spring Core. My name is Mr. Linhart. And I'm Mr. Jadis. And today we are going to be going over um, a couple important things to kind of keep you on track to <clears throat> finish your first year of high school nice and strong and to lead you into sophomore year to make sure you know what's going on with your grades, where to find all your official information, and to know where you're at as far as... Um, graduation-wise, credit-wise, class-wise. Uh, before we start talking about any of that stuff, I do want to remind you one great resource we have here is our Saturday School. Um, from when you're watching this, we have three dates remaining. We have Saturday, April 13th, Saturday, May 18th, and then we have a Wednesday School on May 22nd. So this is a great time for those of you that haven't been there to really utilize getting some extra support to working with a tutor, working with a teacher, working with people to try to keep um, your grades on track to give you that, that extra support you might need uh, in different classes. So that's Saturday School. And right now, Ms. Georgiatis is going to tell us about how to find our transcripts. So when you are logged into Infinite Campus, make sure you guys are logged in not using the app. Um, but when you're on there, on the left-hand side, if you scroll all the way down to in blue, it says, um, I can't read that far. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, it says print transcript. Go ahead and click there. What will pop up is a question. Just go ahead and click continue. It will be like a red little button. And on there, you're gonna see a transcript. So this is a junior, is she a junior or senior? Junior. junior. She's a junior. So um, all of her grades are shown for the past three years at BG. You guys will only see one section of that box, which is just one semester. So just and, make sure. Okay. And you'll see your grades in progress for this semester, yes. your classes in progress for this semester. So you're gonna see basically two sections. So if you wanna go ahead right now and just check and make sure all of your grades are correct, there's no um, things that are not, um, ac everything's accurate, and um, your address will be on there, all your information that we need that you will send to colleges in the future or jobs, but you won't need that until senior year, but this is what we can show. Next, we're gonna take a look at Harper Promise Hours. Go ahead and click there, and when you're on there, this is Transio. So this is our system that we use to log all your hours. So this semester is when you start, you have until July. There's gonna be a follow-up video that you can watch on how to um, put them in exactly, but you would just log into here, and then you could put in each hour you have. Terrific, and so transcript, that's just really uh, the way we like to describe it, is it's kind of like your academic bank account. It just lets you know your official grades. It makes sure that you know everything is accurate. One other thing you can do within um, Infinite Campus is if you click on, if you go up here to, on this left-hand side, and you can see academic progress, uh, you could see where you're at as far as credit-wise, what um, what classes you've met the requirements for. So you can see this student, she's a junior, she's currently in U.S. history, so she has not yet done her, con her past her constitution test yet, so it says it hasn't been taken. And then it also shows you what credits you've earned, what credits are in progress, and what credits are planned. So you could see she's looking good for her core classes. The other thing you can do here is you can look at your academic plan. Um, if you just click next, I believe, and it'll show you your four-year plan that you and your counselor went over during course requests. So just, you know, I know we're throwing a lot at you right now, but this is just to get you some, some information to let you know where to find it. So the last thing we want you to do today is there has been a lot of talk about career pathways. I'm sure you've heard about it with your counselor. You've heard about it from the district. Um, but what we are going to do is in case you're a person that isn't sure about your career pathway or just to make sure that you know you're 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 looking at the the right the right careers or you're looking at different things that meet uh, things you're interested in we're going to do what's called a career cluster finder so i want you to log on to your naviance and then when you are there click this arrow in the upper right i'm sorry nope the sandwich guy in the upper right and once you're here 
I want you to click on careers and then from careers click on careers home once you click on careers home you're gonna click this cluster finder right here now it's a I don't know how many questions it is it should take you about 10 minutes or so but what's really cool is that once you complete it at the end it's going to show you your top clusters okay when you're looking at your top clusters it'll show you what they are and then it'll also give you what this is really cool down here a ranking of how good of a match you are to each of these clusters it'll, and then you can click on them get more information and as you could see there are these these hearts right here okay what it, what we want you to do is by the time you leave today you need to have at least one of these clusters picked this way your counselor can see what careers you're interested in we could see if there's multiple careers maybe we can you know there's definitely a ton of electives here that we offer to give you exposure to that to help make help you make an educated decision on um, what classes you should look at pursuing uh, but this is going to be your exit slip today so what you need to do is once you have picked a f at least one favorite it'd be bet it'd really be good what would you say maybe two or three two, yeah. two to three but at least one show it to your BAM and then you can go to lunch you can either show them this with the heart or if you go to your sandwich guy click on careers and you could see careers I'm thinking about and all of them are listed right here alright so again to get back to the cluster finder click on the sandwich in the upper right hand corner click on careers click on the careers home and then the co the career cluster finder all right guys have a good day